autism and anxiety. Apparently I have to run over people. Oh, there's no way. Yeah, I'm not kidding. He just showed me a picture of Bernie Flakes and Donald something. They're in both serial films. Like, okay, there we go. It was Donald Flakes and Better Eat Your Bernies. Which is actually a clever name, but... Yeah, that was actually like, oh my god. This is a freaking U.S. military. Really and I gotta have my pops. Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring as... I gotta have my trunk. That actually sounds really wrong. Well, get used to it. Because we have our Trump. <laughs> no, apparently, uh, I forgot where I saw it. I think I might have been a friend on Facebook or something. They were doing a mystery trade. Oh, no. I guess it was Pokemon <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, and then they got uh, the Pokemon, and they got the message that says, Take care of Trump for me, please. <laughs> and, then, and the Pokemon's name is Trump. Oh, crap. Yeah, no was that it wasn't that weird fever thing? Uh, I don't know. It was a name. And yeah, I apparently know. there's a... Uh, a fever. Oh, and, I was in the car. What is it? Alola? Seven? Yeah, Sun and Moon? Oh, yeah. yeah. Apparently there's a Pokemon that has like a Trump bowl cut. It's like a beaver or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. Those of you into Pokemon way more than I am will know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. I couldn't care less about Pokemon myself. But I, I do like the lore behind it. I actually really want to play Pokemon Sun and Moon, but you know. Money. Yeah. I'm not a, I've never been a big Pokemon fan. Pokemon, man, man. Playing since I was a wee lad. I mean, I have too. I just kind of like, eh, I like Monster Hunter better. You, know, you always say that, but I'm used to that, like, I don't know, so you come down here to the Monster Hunter game and be like, hey, I own one. If I own one, I would immediately. In fact, I planned to get the one that was on PS2, uh, Evo, because that was one of my favorites. Dragon League is like, I own this Pokemon. But then again, yeah, Monster Hunter kind of died. Yeah. Literally. Again, I have not had a single way to play them in ages. I actually do have an emulator for two on my phone. Yeah. It doesn't work that well. So yeah. I tried to Person get... Dying. I actually tried to get a Shadow Hearts. Because, you know, I just wanted to play that. Oh, yeah. PS2 emulators on phones are crap. Yeah. Hey, it was rough. Yeah, don't even try. Oh! Run. I die. I love how bullets can just shred concrete. That's in this a 50 game. cal. Yeah. No, that. like even just your handgun. Like when you shoot walls with shotguns and stuff, it'll just shred. Well, I've noticed the shotgun. Yeah, that one kind of makes sense if I'm close enough. No, I mean, like anytime you just see a bullet hit a wall, wall, it just goes straight through okay. it. And I'm like, okay, well, I have a pistol and you know, mainly get it from the police. So let's just say it's like a 9 or a 40. Yeah, yeah I say 9. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that just shouldn't happen. Hmm. I mean, it's slowly breaking away, but yeah. No. Yeah, no, I guess... We wouldn't do that quickly. Yeah, yeah whatever. But new and I wasn't paying much attention. I just saw walls being eviscerated. Well, yeah, well, no, that. that yeah, the guy shooting a mounted 50 cal. No, no, that would happen. Okay. That would happen. You can look up on your phone the size of a 50 cal bullet that that particular gun shoots, and you look, and you'd be like, yeah, I, I can see why. It's half as thick as my day. You gotta love that joke. I kicked you. You fell. I shot you. And then you got back I... up. And then I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shot you again. And you kept getting up. And then I realized you're a regenerating mutant. And then I realized I'm in a comic book. This does very look... You know, oh, actually, I think I've said that before. And I think that's why we keep talking about comic books. Is this looks it's, very... A very, it's a very comic -y game. Yeah. Which I am... Like, I can't take this seriously. No. Like, the huge... I don't think anyone took this seriously. No, a lot of people. I mean, yeah, when it was first being... First being... Uh, released. Everybody was like... Oh, you go murder, and they, they just openly murder, and yada, yada, yada. Anyone who says that, I just kind of want to send a copy of Postal. Well, the thing <laughs> is, with Postal, you can literally go through that entire game and not kill a single person. I mean, it. true, but why would you? Yeah. To where this one is the the specific goal is to murder people. Hell, I couldn't figure out what I needed to do. All right, send them a copy of Saints like, Row. Once again, you can go through that game without murdering bad people. I mean, without murdering good people. I had that backwards. Without murder? Oh. Yeah, you can you kill bad people, quote unquote. Yeah. No, when you said without murdering bad people, you were right. So I was like, you got that backwards when you corrected yourself. Yeah, so. I know. Whatever. I'm tired. English. Tired. 
for this one, literally, son, like, quest. Shoot people with the weapons exhibition. <laughs> and continuously yeah. run in place. But yeah, you're... That's the ultimate, son. Bad programming. I am genocide. But yeah, it's no, constant. Well, you know, the All the goals are murder people. I think in Postal, uh, like, the goal is a pay your bills. And I think uh, the other one was like pick up milk or something. Yeah, it's just like chores. <laughs> and then psychonauts. You have to rip people's minds asunder and then fix them. That's a fun series. I should play that. that game. That'd be another one. Don't they have it on like uh, like an HD download for like PS3 and PS4? Yeah, I have it for the PS3. Hmm. Look forward to that playthrough, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. It could be fun. Leave your comments below if we should scrap everything and start playing Psychonauts. Wouldn't complain. Also, would not complain to play Brutal Legend. Any Double Fine game is fine with me, actually. They're all good. I can't think of his name, but the guy who made Double Fine. He also made Grim Fandango. And nobody's ever played it, but a lot of mm -hmm. people know about it. No, a lot of people play it. It's actually, like, huge. Huh. And Sony, like, puts that know. game on sale all the time. I just remember playing it when it came out. I was like, this is fun. Yeah, Sony loves... Sony and Steam both love the that game. Sony yeah. loves that they fine. Just nobody likes Brutal Legend for some... Well, that game did way worse than it showed up. Yeah, well, it was weird. I don't know. I, I, feel I mean, like, it's definitely a taste game. Yeah. But, like, I feel like they promoted it weird. Really. If that makes sense. Which is strange because you'd think Jack Black would have done a fabulous like he's a great well, you know, yeah, he was the one that promoted it. Like all yeah. the videos were like him going, Oh, you know, play this game, I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna be heavy metal. Like to me, right. it was awesome. Yeah. But that's what I'm it's saying. Also the last thing Lemmy ever did as a major production. Cool guy. He's actually dead now and Motorhead will never be the same. Actually Motorhead's gone now, but uh, sadness. No, that's what I'm saying. He was like, you know, rock and this and that. Or like, not every gamer is a rock kid. True. Or old school rock. I mean, I'm not much into like yeah. old school rock. What, what was the joke? It was like, man, do you think you were born in the wrong time? Do yeah. you think you should have been born earlier? He was <laughs> like, you mean like the 70s? Nah, man. Early 70s. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Me, me even then, like, I like Jack Black. Uh, oh, yeah, that was just a clever game. I mean, like, yeah, when I saw the game, I was like, dude, this is insanely clever. And I do like some of the songs I don't hate all. Actually, I don't really hate any of them. I just, like, don't care. But I was just like, dude, this is... And then I played it, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's just a fun game. Yeah, this yeah. game is amazing. And it's very clever, too. It's a very oh, intelligent, yeah. humorous game, which is always the case with Double Fine games. If you want clever. a comedic game, look for a Double Fine. You'll fi you'll love it. And Psychonauts is another weird one, because it's very well received. Yeah. Yet, never... Well, actually, I think there was a sequel on Kickstarter? Like, they wanted to, and I have no idea if that They are... Or not. Uh, I can't think of his name. The guy in charge of Double Fine is actually like, if he's going to make another game, the next one is going to be Second House 2. He's flat out said it, like, he won't make anything else until he can make that. Yeah, it's supposed to be a prequel. Yeah. Like, it's supposed to explain why his family can't swim. Yeah, the stupid mechanic to why you just couldn't swim in the game, yeah, that's supposed to be, like, the main thing. Right. Which I thought was cool. I was like, okay. I mean, that's... You, holy crap. Let me go back to that. <laughs> wrong, wrong, <Yeah>. wrong. <laughs> But yeah, apparently it's supposed to be a prequel. Yeah. I mean, he had like he had the characters, he had like the front cover of the game. He had, I mean, yeah. he had the explanation of the story. He had everything written down. He just didn't have the money to make the game. Yeah. And he's talked about it. he'd actually love to make sequels to Grim Fandango and Brutal Legends. It's just like right now, Psychonauts is a priority because mm. that's like his favorite game out of the, what he's made. I think it was the last one he made. Psychonauts? Yeah. No, dude. Brutal Legend came out on PS3. Like, Psychonauts oh, was yeah, on that's, Xbox. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I think it was also on GameCube. I don't think it came out on PS2, actually. It might just be because I played it on right. PS3 recently. I was thinking of that. I do not I think, think it was originally a Sony game, because I remember I had to play it over at a friend's house. Ooh. Brutal Legends? No, no, uh, Psychonauts. Oh, no, yeah, it was an Xbox exclusive. No, like, it was on uh, GameCube. Yeah, it was an Xbox exclusive. They added on Game King later when they added the PS2. It was never on PS2. Or, you know, Sony got the rights to freaking sell the game. Thing. And then Steam did and yada yada yada. Because I played it on Xbox. Yeah, I played it on GameCube back when it came out, so... 
Uh, Tim Schaefer, that's his name. I think he's known for doing more than video game work. I mean, he's originally a director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just yeah. And he's been around quite a while. And combo! He would have been a fun one to work on a. Silent Hills, I've already PT. Mm. If he was on that, just to add another psychotic mind into that mix. Oh, not really. His is more of a comedic psychotic mind. Oh, yeah. To where Hideo Kojima and Time to Miguel die. de Toro. And yeah. the but you know, he could easily make something that is messed. He could add a lot more of a psychological flair, which is what uh, he's really good well, at. Well, Miguel de Toro and Kojima, and then. Uh, Yuto, you know, whatever. Which he was doing the designs of the monsters, which holy crap. The one he made was amazing. So. I've, I've, no, I've read every like manga that guy's uh, made, and every single one of them is terrifying. I, I, I was just talking about PT. The one he managed to make was terrifying. All of them are horrible. Like, in the good way. That would be terrifying. Do you think, uh... uh God, what was that the the game Kojima was working on with Sony. I already forgot one's uh, um, uh, Norman Reedus. And yeah, the Nor Norman e Norman Reedus and the Funky Penis. <laughs> that's the, the only way I can remember. Yeah, same here. But that's such a good. That's what it has to be called in the final project. And even if not, that's what it will be called by everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm walking in GameStop and going. Yeah, <laughs> and Spencer will know exactly what we're talking about. So sad for it. Yeah, he'd be like, all right. He's like, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, here, we got it. We have a... And he actually has a copy that says no. <laughs> you know what? I'm, uh, uh, let me get that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm obviously in the gameplay. I do trust Kojima, but I'm not a Kojima nerd like everyone else. Yeah. But, I mean, if it's just a boring game, it's a boring game. So. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm going to look at gameplay and see if it's worth a damn. And then you know, try it out. Play and then it. we'll just play it on the channel anyway. I mean, if I like it. Uh, and if I ever meet like Norman Reedus at a con or something, I'm gonna get him to write that on there. <laughs> he just like you and everyone else who meets him from playing that game. Norman Reedus and the Funky Penis. No, man, Norman Reedus. The uh, first time I ever saw him, would actually was his first time ever in like a movie, like anything, because he used to be a model. He was uh, the Moondog. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, like, if he mostly people know him from The Walking Dead now. If he gets if he starts doing signing for that game, everyone is going <laughs> to ask him for that. You, you'd actually be surprised how many people have already forgotten about that. Duh. Yeah. Everyone forgot about Mighty Number, no. not worth a damn. It's such a bad game. Yeah, kind of hard to forget about that one because it kind of keeps getting shoved down a lot of people's throats. Yeah, play this game, please. Yeah. Please. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For the love of God, reason. play this horrible game. Mighty Number Slime. Is that what they said? Yeah. That'd be fun. Yes. Jizz all over what was a horrible game. And then I, I just hope. You want to pay for a really terrible game? <laughs> and so I said the slime version. Uh. That'd be fun. I hope Bloodstains is good. Like, if they mess up a Castlevania game, oh. uh, even if it's not like Castlevania, it's totally Castlevania. And from what I've seen, it still looks amazing. Mm. Like, that game has been keeping... The same with, a uh, what's it called? Ukulele? Yeah. I've seen a lot about that. Hell, even uh, Shovel Knight's in it. Really? Yeah, he's like a playable character. Huh. Or, like, he might be an NPC or something. But, like, he shows up and, like, as you would imagine, Shovel Knight, he actually is. Like, mm -hmm. he talks in that jolly cooperation talk nonsense. And he's just like, yes, I seem to have dug myself into another game. And I was just like, oh, it's great. That but, means yes. uh, Nintendo would have to be in on it. It's possible. I want to say it's Nintendo. It's crap. I was say because Shovel Knight's on all consoles, so I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, but it is. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of that exclusive thing. Oh. Right. Oh my god, they're everywhere! So Our US military is actually really good. Ah, I died. That wasn't me being smart enough. The military right. sucks! <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Welp! We'll see you at the end of this level next time. Well, next time. Oh, nausea. Same. Same, to be honest. <laughs> okay, well,